to another vlog. I told you guys I was gonna do more of these. Today is a vibey Christmas morning. The purpose of today's vlog is to get a lot done. I have a lot on my to-do list. We actually have to make a to-do list next and just enjoy the Christmas decorations and my Christmas puzzle, which I'll show you later. And I just love, love, love love christmas it's my favorite time of the year super excited to just film everything really get in the mood of the holidays we just got back from california i'll put a little video that my husband did up here with this gopro it's just a voiceover video but we just went to california with some of our best friends who used to live there we were in southern california now we're back we can be all christmasy again i wanted to show you guys a sweatshirt that i got i think it is so cute it's a retro santa i got it from etsy they're having a giant sale, so I got this thing for like maybe $15. I've also been back in my heatless curl routine, which I love doing. Look how pretty these curls always turn out. I use an older silk pillowcase, and so it's really gentle on my hair, but also because it's so comfortable to sleep in, it doesn't feel like I'm sleeping on a rod, which is what some of those will feel like if you get them from Amazon. A lot of people use leggings too. Leggings definitely work, but it's just a silk pillowcase that I rolled up. That's what it looks like. It's super curly at first, but it will go down a lot. It pretty much all falls out by the time like five or six o'clock hits. What I do to make it stay longer though is once it's in the little hair roller on my head, I have a spray water bottle and I just lightly mist all over so that when I go to bed, it's kind of damp and then it dries like this. So that's kind of my secret for getting them to last longer. So since we have so much to do today, this morning is a Starbucks morning. So I'm gonna go downstairs. My husband's been waiting on me. He's exhausted this morning. So we're gonna get Starbucks and make our to-do list and get the day started. personally think it's a rule that Starbucks should not be allowed to hand out non-holiday cups after October, but here we are. I don't know why we got singled out. People in front of us in the drive-thru were getting holiday cups. The store was full of them. I looked, but that's okay. You know why? Because I'm a freak and I've saved the other two holiday cups that we got. I've been trying to collect like all four of this year's holiday cups. I have no idea why, but turns out it actually came in handy because now I can use it. I mean, this is not the vibe for my Christmas vibe vlog today. Now I have a holiday cup. Just finished a book. I only had like 3% left of it last night, but I fell asleep reading, could not stay up anymore. So I finished it. My goal for the year was to read 60 books. I don't think that's going to happen. I do a monthly newsletter and I am covering like what books I've read in the past month and my full review and like rating of those books. So this will be in November's, but I just read Things We Left Behind, which is the third Lucy score book and like a knock em out series, I believe is the town that she calls it. So next I'm going to read The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, I believe is how you pronounce it. I've heard great things about it. And I'm only like two chapters in and I'm already really excited for it. So the Midnight Library will be book number 43 of the year. I keep a list of everything that I've read in Notion when I started it, when I finished it, how many pages it was, my rating out of five, and then like a short summary so I don't forget what it was about. I'm also working on this holiday jigsaw puzzle and I started it last year and I could not finish it. I got it at Hobby Lobby during one of their Christmas sales. I love hard puzzles, but it is really hard. So I'm almost done with it. I'm gonna work on it for a little bit while I finish my coffee. And then we're going to make our to-do list and get started with the day. my puzzle all day long but i have to force myself to stop and i got this cool thing to roll up your puzzle when you're in the middle of it so you can move it out of the way and i have been working on this puzzle for over a week and i have yet to try it but i want to put it away right now so i can 
focus on my to-do list today. So we're gonna try it out. And I'm gonna have to probably go online and remember how this works, but you just roll up the puzzle and then store it wherever you want to. And you're supposed to be able to get it out later. And it's still the same. it outwards you know when you roll it up so I'm gonna have to repair it a little bit but I think it's gonna work all right that's pretty brilliant my puzzle away hopefully that works out I'll open it back up later tonight and see if it actually worked well but I got this yesterday it came overnight from Amazon it is a label maker and I've been wanting a label maker for so so long there are so many things in my house that I want to put little labels on and I'm really trying to stay organized but I'm gonna try this out right now. I have been on a natural nail growth journey for quite a long time and they're looking pretty good. And my secret, I actually learned it from YouTube, but my secret is a nail oil and I'm constantly rubbing nail oil in my cuticles and on my nails and it works so well because it just makes them more flexible and they're not as susceptible to breaking. So I want to label this, especially for my guest bathroom because no one knows what it is. So we're gonna open it up and see how it works because I want to go ahead and make the labels. Okay, this is pretty cool. So it's Bluetooth. You download an app. So I connected it to my phone. I got the tape all set up and I am going to use the app and I'm going to make a label for my nail oil and you can choose fonts here. Looks like I can download, oh wow, a ton of fonts. Kind of like cookie. You can change the size. I think I like this size. Cool. Okay, let's see how this works. And I have like three of these or four of them. I'm just gonna go ahead and do four. Oh my God, that is so cool. It is finally time to make my to-do list for today. I usually do this on my phone, but sometimes I really want to actually write it down and cross it off, especially when I have busy days like today. And I'm not super motivated, honestly, so that's why I am having my Starbucks and I'm gonna get it all done. I need to clean my bathroom. It is a mess. I wanted to take a bath last night and I couldn't even be in there. There's just clutter on the counters. It needs to be vacuumed really bad. I shed like crazy. When I haven't vacuumed in a few days, it gets nasty. I need to put away all my clothes. Between unpacking and then doing laundry, I have clothes all over my dresser, which you probably saw this morning. We need to plan next week's meals. And then we're going to go to Costco. I need to clean our room. I'll probably do this when I put away my clothes, but I need to dust off the dresser and the nightstands and then vacuum the upstairs. I cleaned my downstairs. I detailed downstairs yesterday, wiped down all the kitchen cabinets. Today, I just wanna get the upstairs clean. And my biggest priority today after cleaning everything is filming. I have a lot of packages downstairs. And then the last thing I need to do today is I want to make a pile of clothes to either donate or sell on Mercari and Poshmark. Okay, what I'm gonna do before I clean upstairs is I have a lot of stuff downstairs that needs to come upstairs. So I'm gonna really quick just make a bunch of trips and get everything upstairs where it needs to be and put everything away before I start cleaning. So I'm gonna call that declutter downstairs. All right, so we got our list, duh. After I do all this stuff, I really need to sit down and edit and post mountain vlog. I have like three vlogs that need to be edited and posted in the next two weeks. All right, let's get started. So much to do, so little time.
Okay, this is like the hardest thing to do. I already know of a lot of clothes I haven't worn in like over a year, over two years that are in here. And since I just got like a brand new fall and winter wardrobe, I just want to go ahead and get rid of all the things that I'm not going to wear. I'm not going to go too crazy, but there are a lot of things I already know off the top of my head that I'm probably never going to wear again, haven't really worn in the past. I'm going to go ahead and put all of those in a pile and then later this week, I will list them all and organize them in my office closet where I keep all of my selling stuff. real quick because I do want to film today I certainly don't get ready every day I think like maybe once or twice a week I will put some effort in my appearance and of course it's mainly just because I am filming some YouTube videos today but sometimes I just want to get ready even though I don't have anything to film because I don't know I feel so much more productive when I put some effort in on my appearance. There's just something to be said about like getting out of your sweat clothes, putting on a cute outfit, doing a little bit of something to your appearance. Doesn't have to be makeup, even if it's just like your hair. So I'll be honest, it is really hard for me to get rid of clothes and I am such a hoarder. I think it's more wasteful to like not wear them and just let them sit in your closet. I think it's much smarter to sell them or donate them to someone who really needs nice new clothes at a way cheaper price. I think it's selfish to just keep those clothes in your closet and never wear them because most of us are fortunate enough to be able to go out and buy new things if we need them or like when the occasion calls for it. So I'm just trying to be better about hanging on to things that I'm not wearing. And it is crazy. I look at clothes and I'm like, oh, I need that, I want that, I shouldn't get rid of it. And then I take it off the hanger because I haven't worn it in a long time or I just, it's not my favorite thing in my closet. Like I would usually choose something else over that for whatever reason when I choose the item to give away and I take it off the hanger and put it in my donate pile. I can actually feel this little weight lift off of my chest and it just makes me feel so light. I highly recommend it. Sometimes I forget how good it feels to clean out your closet and it's something I'm trying to do at least once a year. I also find it funny that this morning I was thinking I wasn't gonna film anything today because I had nothing to film. And I knew it was gonna be productive, but I was like, God, is it really worth filming? And now here I am trying to like limit how much I'm talking on this vlog because I've been talking so much about everything. All right, we just went to Costco and I wanted to show what we get. I love seeing what other people get from Costco, but this is my second time buying these and I bought two packs because they are saving me in the mornings. I don't like to eat first thing in the morning, but they taste so good and I have these first thing in the morning. I love them. So I got two packs this time. Got some pomegranates to snack on as an after dinner or midday snack. I love fresh pomegranates. Also got some grapes to snack on and little mandarins to snack on as well. And this is the first time I've ever seen this at Costco. It's the Kettle and Fire Beef Bone Broth. This is like supposed to be one of the best brands. Doesn't have any sugar or anything and I'd be surprised at the ingredients of other bone broths, but you get six 16 ounce cartons in here and it was $23 for all of this. So I got two and we're gonna start drinking these in the morning. I used to be really good about my bone broth and I haven't in a while, so I'm excited to try these. Heard great things about this brand. And then on that same note, this is not the best brand, but it's just Swanson chicken broth. I feel like every time I cook with chicken broth, I have to get one of the giant quarts of them and I never use it all. So they had these cans on sale, 12 cans, and it was $5. So I had to get those. And then this is different, but I had to get potatoes for Thanksgiving. And we always buy this Rayo's marinara at Costco as well every time it's on sale and it was on sale again today. So picked up two more of those. And I also haven't seen this there before, but I'm very excited about this. Primal is my favorite brand for dressings. I've been loving dipping chicken in the buffalo sauce. So I picked up this. Both of these were like $9 and usually one small thing is about that price. I got more olive oil. That's where I get all my oils from. We also picked up some more garlic powder and we always get these broccoli florets. We just happen to be out of them. There's four packs in here and you can steam them in the microwave. 
and they're delicious every time. Next, I'm going to film my unboxing. I have all of my gifts under the tree I have in my office. This is basically like Christmas for myself, but what happened was I basically bought myself a brand new capsule wardrobe for fall and winter. I have had a lot of life changes to where I went to college and then I got my first full-time job, which was in sales, so I was dressed professionally all the time. Then I ended up moving into working from home life in the past few years and I got really, really comfortable with athleisure being like the only thing that I wear. We were packing for our most recent trip and I was looking for some fall clothes and I just felt like I hated everything that I have and I had so many clothes and none of them fit me and none of them looked right together. I just didn't have a lot of clothes that I could wear with other things in my closet. Like a capsule wardrobe are pieces that you can wear with so many different things and so you can constantly like switch around the pants with the different tops and the different jackets with all the different bottoms and they all look kind of good together and i just don't have a closet like that and it makes getting dressed something that i hate doing so i went ahead and decided instead of just buying a bunch of anything else really for myself what i really needed to focus on was clothes and not athleisure not comfy clothes i am planning on doing some more content really only based around this but I did want to just go ahead and unbox it in today's vlog just so I have everything here and open and then I'll make a video of styling different clothes later. Okay, so first I got a pair of tights. So I love the outfits with people in like mini skirts and tights with boots. I think they're so cute. And I bought these years ago, at least five years ago when I got one of my first jobs. I used to wear them all the time and I have them in like regular black and nude and they truly do not rip so these are known for basically being impossible to break or rip or snag or put tears in them they're insane these are the ones i got it's kind of hard to see because they're not on but whenever they're on my leg I see a few little black dots on my hand so these are like a mini dot pattern and I love that look with, like I said, mini skirt, any dresses. I just think it's a really easy way to dress up an outfit. Okay, this is funny. I posted a Chobani video on TikTok talking about how much I love Chobani creamers because they truly are my favorite creamers. They reached out and got my address and they sent me some swag. Two little pumpkin pins that say Chobani on them. <laughs> that is amazing, okay. And they sent me this Chobani t-shirt. This is Spice Check. That's actually really cute. And I, I think I'm pretty sure I asked for an extra large t-shirt in its comfort colors. You guys, comfort colors is my favorite ever. But I love wearing giant t-shirts like this. So this is actually cute. This will be my new Halloween shirt. <laughs> I love that. Thanks to Chobani. I got a few things from Abercrombie. So I got a two pack long sleeve mock neck ribbed shirts so i got a black one and then i got a white one and i think these are just great staples to have something i'm really lacking is tailored pants the only pants i have are jeans and leggings and i really wanted a nice pair of pants not only to wear casually just when i go out somewhere but also for work i do have some work trip coming up and my work pants from five years ago when i was in an office they don't fit anymore either so i really needed a new pair of like trousers i love the pleating and these are the ultra wide leg i hoard gift cards i've had a ton of lululemon gift cards over the past year or two that i've collected i like to buy my lululemon used from mercari but some pieces you just can't find on mercari there are some things that i really wanted from lululemon directly that i could not find on resale I went ahead and spent my gift cards and this is what I got. First up is the Swiftly Tech short sleeve and I have a white and black long sleeve and they're my favorite thing to wear in the gym. So I decided to get the short sleeve white one. They're just great to work out in. You sweat in them and the sweat dries instantly. They're not uncomfortable. They're great to layer. These are great hiking shirts. Love these for hiking. It's like they keep you warm like a layer but cool. I can also wear this in the summer. I don't know. I just... The more I wear the Swiftly Tech stuff, the more obsessed I am for truly working out and sweating in. And if you follow trends, you will know that the Lululemon Softstream pants 
have gone crazy viral. But whenever they came out with the ribbed version, I had to have them because I love ribbed fabric. I think these look so much nicer than the regular soft stream fabric. Plus they took out the horizontal seam from the original soft stream pants. So I think these look better in that respect as well. So I spent my gift cards on those two items. It's just crazy how expensive they are, but I truly love Lululemon and I wear their stuff every day, all day, especially working from home. It's kind of a problem, but it is worth it because I don't have to buy as many leggings over and over again when I buy quality stuff from them. Last thing, giant H&M package. First thing is a pair of tights. I got some more patterned tights, but these have little bows on them. I think they're precious. I picked up a mini skirt. Burgundy and red is the color of the 2023-2024 winter and fall season. And I love this little jersey knit skirt. It has a little slit in it. This is the kind of thing that I think would be so cute with my new tights. The next item I'm very excited about, it is a leather crop jacket. It's very, very nice. Leather is still really in, but the only leather items I have are like moto jackets. And I have worn and worn and worn and worn them for the past like three years. And they're just not as in style anymore. And so I wanted a jacket that was a little more timeless. And I think this is definitely more timeless. Again, with red being the color of the season, and I'm really trying to get back into blazers. I used to wear blazers in high school, loved wearing blazers, and I really wanna get back into it because they're such an easy way to layer your outfits, stay warm, but still look stylish instead of just throwing on any jacket. So I got this single breasted red blazer. I think that is the prettiest red color. And then I got the exact same blazer in black. This dress, which is an off the shoulder fuzzy sweater dress. I'm so excited for this one, but I got it in white. Hopefully it's not see-through. I didn't even think about that until just now. And then I got that exact same burgundy mini skirt in this heathered gray color. And I'm very excited about this one. This is the last item in this package. And it is a blazer jacket that you tie around the waist. And it kind of has a sateen finish to it. I apologize, the lighting is not the best. And I know this is like an awkward way to hold up items. And it does come with a little tie that you can tie around the waist. This is what I'm most excited for. I love jackets like this and I'm so excited. $76. That is nothing for a jacket like this. I also got it on sale. I think I got it for like 65. I don't remember how I got lucky enough to get it on sale, but I'm very happy with this. I just love the way that these jackets look. I think they're called an aviator jacket. So I'm very excited to style all of these clothes. Okay, so our to-do list. I had on here to plan next week's meals. We did that. Go to Costco, we did that. Film unboxing, I just finished that. So next I need to clean the bathroom and vacuum upstairs. I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out and then I gotta clean up this mess from this unboxing. And then I'm going to edit and post my mountain vlog. I'll link that up here. And once I do that, I'll be done with my entire do list from today. And then I think after that, I'm going to start planning outfits with all of these clothes, go ahead and plan out that video because I would like to film that before the end of this week so I can get that uploaded probably before even this video or maybe right after this one, especially because this is a shoppable video. I want you to be able to shop everything. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and link everything in the description box below so you can get your hands on it because H&M stuff sells out really quick, like that jacket's already gone, but you can sign up for restocks and sometimes they will restock the item. It is eight o'clock. That clock is wrong, by the way. Uh, we haven't changed it since the time change, but it is eight o'clock. Dinner is in the oven. It is about halfway done. Tonight I'm doing a half-baked harvest recipe. It's lemon harissa chicken and potatoes. We're doing a side of asparagus with it. So I've been cooking since we got back from the gym. We went to the gym and probably around like six o'clock, my hair. This is, by the way, how the curls stayed all day. See how they get like pretty wavy, but they stay, especially in my layered pieces in the front. Um, we went to the gym. I just did the treadmill for 50 minutes, incline of 10, speed of three. It's like, I can't do 12, 3.30. <laughs> 
since I'm doing it for almost double the amount of time, I do it in kind of 10. And I'm reading that book, The Midnight Library, so I read on the treadmill, and it is so far life-changing. I've never highlighted so many parts of a book before. Highly recommend. I also wanted to share, I did get a, another package today, but this one was gifted from Versed, which I love Versed skincare. I have tried this before. This is like my second year using this. This is my third bottle and I've gifted this to family and friends. It is the Press Restart Retinol Body Lotion. I found it originally at Target. So they gave me another bottle of this and then they gave me three new products, no, four new products to try and i'm very excited to try them i already shared it on my tiktok but i got this photos please clay mask zero g some kind of soothing eye cream i'm always looking for a good eye cream this is called doctor's visit it's a resurfacing mask and lastly i'm very excited for this one it's called the day maker a micro crystal exfoliator probably gonna use that right now in the shower i'm gonna go ahead and get in the shower and then we're going to eat dinner have like a nice dinner in front of the christmas tree we are tv dinner people so we're probably gonna watch tv I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna show like what we were eating and then just gonna close out right now. Please subscribe if you have not yet already. Like I've mentioned in previous vlogs, I am trying to do more vlogs because these are the kind of videos I like to watch. I feel like this was a very consumerism vlog full of things that I have purchased, but I just wanted to show you guys what I got. I don't shop this much often and I usually don't get like this much PR or gifted things. So I just wanted to share it in a YouTube video and kind of make a day out of it and make a whole day of getting in the Christmas spirit. So I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you next week. I was just about to get in the shower when I realized I didn't even talk about my to-do list. So we got everything done except cleaning the bathrooms and editing and posting my mountain vlog, which I'm going to do this after we eat dinner. And then cleaning the bathrooms, I told my husband he can do that because I cleaned the whole downstairs yesterday. I did all the other cleaning, so he is going to clean them for me today. So technically, everything got done.